Chris in Rockingham, North Carolina writes, I recently purchased a PS Audio Stellar Gainzel DAC, secondhand, from the Music Room. Great company. My hope was to connect it to an SACD player via the HDMI I2S connector. However, when I called your tech for help, the gentleman I spoke to, his name was Chris, and Chris does in fact work here, <laughs> Chris Harden, uh, informed me that only the PS Audio Transport uh, can send I2S data to a PS Audio DAC. No other manufactured transports will work. Is this correct? And will PS Audio Transports only work with PS Audio DACs and vice versa? Well, it's sort of correct, but not entirely. So first off, HDMI is not I2S. HDMI, high definition multimedia interface, is a great interface for video, for, well, it's multimedia, so it has audio on it, it can do high def, all of that good stuff. And your Oppo player, or whatever it is you're using, can in fact send the DSD layer from SACD player over to the receiving receiver or DAC. No question about it. But it has to stay within the DAC. So in other words, if you have an Oppo player and you're using the HDMI connection to go to a DAC that accepts HDMI, that's a closed loop. So you get the output from the DAC, which will be from the DSD, and life's good. Those generally aren't very good in terms of DAC quality. If you want a great DAC high-end audio experience, you're going to need to use something like our products, which are the transport, which in fact s uses an HDMI connector, but not the HDMI format. So that's where we get confused a lot. Even though it uses the HDMI connector and cable, what's going through there is called I2S, which is a very different format than HDMI. And it's a format that is used inside every CD player. And we basically took that created a standard for using I2S data through an HDMI connector. And we published that on the public forums. You can, you can look that data up. So it's, it's not simple, but we, publish, we, we invented it and we publish it, okay? And other manufacturers have used it and continue. So there are, I don't know, three or four or five DACs other than PS Audio that will explain that accept I2S data. I don't know there's another transport that outputs I2S data, maybe, and that's kind of what Chris was referring to. Pretty much our transport's the only one that I know of that does it, but there are certainly other DACs and other components that use the PS Audio standard of I2S data. So hope that helps. And yeah, if you want to get I2S data from an SACD, you're going to have to wind up getting a PS Audio Transport, which is a great little transport. Okay, thanks for the question. Thanks, bye.